Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Draft to Glory series. And this time we are doing something which I have been meaning to do for a very long time. And that is a single player draft. Now, what I really want to see is whether the rewards you get from a single player draft are that much worse than an online draft. And you know what? Maybe I'll mix it up between doing an online draft and single player draft. You know, you guys have seen in the episodes, we get some incredibly sweaty players in online draft. And honestly, if we want to progress this team and we want to get good players, maybe every now and again, we'll whack in the old single player draft. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Guys, I will be, I am recording this live on Twitch. So the chat is helping me build this draft as well. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you click the link down below to my Twitch. Make sure you drop a follow so you're notified whenever I go live. All right, let's go into it. What do we get as our formations? 4-3-1-2, 4 3 one, two, uh, four, three, two, one, and a 4-5-1 attack. I feel like, hmm... I feel like I might go for the 4 3 2 1. Gives us a chance to get some nice strikers in. So I'll have a look and see who's going to be our captain in this first uh, single player draft. There's Harry Kane, who's in a good bit of form at the moment. But we'll take Leo Messi. We'll take Leo Messi. And up front to partner him, we have. Ooh, we have a Zaha, which I'm actually interested to try out. We get a Dabala, who could help for the chem. We'll take him because he's the highest rated as well. And he gets that nice Argentinian link in. And we get a Neymar. We'll take him just because he's fun to use. And then in midfield, we'll take we'll take Renato Sanchez because he is from the French league as well. And then we get Clarence. Yes, come on. We haven't got many. We haven't got many legends at all. Maybe now that there's icon SBCs and things like that, we'll get more. Um, we'll get more icons. But we get Paul Pogba. It doesn't really link chemistry wise. Uh, actually, probably fair. He's got two links, so we'll keep him there. All right, left back. Who could, who could we get on the left back here? A uh, Marcelo wouldn't be too bad. Uh, okay. You know what? We'll take Guerrero um, just because he helps with that Portugal link. And in center back, we get... Ooh, some, what is that on Boateng? Has he got some, like, blue hair? All right, we'll take... Uh, none of these are... All right, we'll take Boateng just for that link there to help with the chem. And the other centre-back, we get Virgil van Dijk, who we haven't really got to use at all much. So uh, it'll be good to get in him in there. And you know what? We'll take Nelson Semedo. Uh, right. Oh, it's the Barcelona one. Oh, my God. Why do they still have that card around? Oh, I thought that was the Wolves card. Damn it. I messed up there, lads. I messed up there. And we will take Kasper Schmeichel in goal. So what do we need? We need the defence needs a bit of sorting out. Uh, we could probably do with another striker as well. So let's see who we get here as our reserve goalkeeper. We'll take a Senho. And, oh, okay, we'll take Lodi. Does he? Nah, he doesn't really fit in the team. And we get, okay, we get a Trent at right back, which is fine. We've we've recovered from the Semedo error. All right. Uh, and who else are we going to get? Ferran Torres. Who isn't the highest rated, but it's a cool looking card. Guys, you know I'm a, I'm a sucker for shiny cards. And ooh, we get Rashford. Um, let's think about this. Muller. Mm, Casemiro. It's not really going to work. You know what? We'll just take Casemiro for the rating. I don't think any of those players we're going to play. Lewandowski. Oh, I want to try this Lewandowski. I really do want to try this Lewandowski. Definitely want to bring him off off the bench. Uh, right, we'll take Sinkraven. Uh, Di Maria. Hmm. Do we take Di Maria? To be fair, he would work nicely up front instead of Messi, actually. Because he gets the, gets the Argentinian link still into Dybala. But to be fair, he doesn't do anything to the... Chem, so I'd rather have Messi in the Di Maria. And we get ugh, Max Meyer. Alright, what do we still need? I still think we need a centre back. Oh, we get Mo Salah. Uh, we'll take Mo Salah. Uh Pedrino. Ugh. And then finally we get. Alright, let's have a think about this. If we get Sigurdsson in. Junior Furpo doesn't really help. That guy doesn't. Willian. Not really. We'll just take Willian for the rating. 
All right, let's see. Can we do anything with this team? I can't believe I took that Samedo. How are we only at 83 chem? I don't know whether there's a... Hmm. We don't really get a better centre-back throughout. That's the only annoying thing. Um... Ah, oh, anyways, you know what? This is a single-player draft, so we don't have to worry too much about the chemistry. We'll go and pick our manager. Uh, we'll take Graham Potter. Why not? So here, guys, you can see the biggest problem with single-player draft. In the first round, the team we are playing is a two-star, 65-rated team. Why do they do this in single-player draft? Oh, okay, well, I will probably see you guys after this game because this one's probably going to be a thrashing. Uh, maybe I'll check in some highlights of the goals, but we'll get to the third or fourth game where things get interesting. But let's jump into this one and let's get, let's see how many goals we can actually get. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, should I? This is a single player draft. Why am I doing stupid stuff like that? This is the only thing, right? I can do a single player draft, but it's bloody boring. We're just going to batter this team. Good goal. Oh, let's try. All right, let's try and score just goals from outside the box, baby. Maybe that will make it a little bit more difficult. Go Lewandowski. Thirteen. All the it's just the goal. The goal animations need to hurry up. <laughs> this is the bit that takes the longest. I think we'll get to eighteen. So after two games, as you can see there, is we won 15-0 and 9-0. This is not something we're going to be doing too often because, honestly, it's just a little bit boring. But anyways, we've got the final two games to go. We're going to definitely, I think, unless I, unless something horribly goes wrong, touch wood, we're going to win this draft, see what rewards we get. Uh, but let's jump into this first game and see how many goals we can get this time round. Oh, wow. The computer are about squaring the ball, are they? <laughs> I didn't expect them to do that. There we go. Six free games over. Let's get into this draw final. Let's get into this final and get this out. I feel like I'm going to have to do some packs at the end of this episode or something. Just the... Just to make it interesting, because it's been a dry one. It's been a dry one. But anyways, it's the final. Let's go into it. Are we going to get our first draft win? All right, here we go. Draft final time. It's Liverpool, Manchester United. Well, not Liverpool, Manchester United, but we're in the Liverpool kit. Facing Manchester United. Should be a good game. There we go. Neymar gets the goal early on. Nice one. Come on. Why not? Uh, no, I think we'll take we'll take um, Dabala off again. Mo Salah running down the wing. There we go. Three, is that 3-0? Three yeah, 3-0 now. Come on. This should be... The draft victory that's been elusive in the series so far. It's coming in a little bit of a cheating way, but hey. We'll take them however they come. Good goal, Neymar. 4-0. Hey, they've turned up in the final. I've got to say, the lads have turned up in the final. I'm sure you guys are all waiting now. It's the most important bit next up, which is the rewards we get from the Cephas. If these uh, four very easy games are worth it, or whether it's uh, just not worth doing single player draft. There we go, there is the game done, and we get the first draft victory of this Draft the Glory series. Oh man, it doesn't feel the same, does it? It really doesn't feel the same, but there we go. That is the draft win, four wins in a row. And probably the dullest draft I think I'll ever do in my life. But there it is. Let's see what rewards we get. Oh, that's... Ho Those rewards are horrendous. Oh, my God. But can you imagine if we get something out of this? All right, let's go to this premium gold pack first. Oh, God. Those rewards are horrendous. All right, let's see. Oh, that might be a board. No, no. I was completely wrong. What shocking rewards. 
<laughs> oh my god. We get a one player pack. Oh no, two players pack. Alright, let's do the two players pack. Can you imagine if this comes in clutch? Anything useful in this one? Oh. Spanish. Striker. Villarreal. Who's that? Moreno. 83 rated. From a, a free pack within a just a premium goal pack. That is not bad at all. And who else do we get? We get, okay, we get Lunin, so, ugh, not so good. But all right, the final pack from the shocking rewards from the single player draft. What are we going to get? Erling Haaland on the front. Ugh. It is a rare player, but it's Danny Garcia. Four oh my god. That was horrendous. We get Eric Dyer, though, not too bad. Uh, and some other useless plays, but Jesus, those rewards were horrendous. There is promo packs out. There's 25k packs. You know what? Let's open. Let's open two of these. Let's open two of these. I'm, I'm making things up, guys. Let's have a let's have a look. Come on. Something good. A bonus pack opening for those of you guys who made it to the end of the episode. What do we get in this one? Anything? I don't think it's a board. Uh, daily blend. Not so good. Here we get Muneer. Oh, some horrendous plays in there. Let's get rid of them. All right. The second one. Let's go. Come on. Give us something decent. We don't normally do these types of pack openings. So give us something decent. No, I don't think there's anything decent again. Oh, no. French. Centre back. Real Madrid. Man City. Laporte. Hey, I will not be disappointed with Laporte. 87 rated Premier League centre back. He probably goes for a little bit. We get Benega, Xhaka as well. How much does Laporte go for? Uh, he goes for, a, what, 30k? That is not too bad. Hey, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. But that's it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you drop a subscribe so you don't miss any more of the videos. Definitely not going to be doing single-player draft anymore. That was horrendous. But thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.